sit your ass down and sit your ass down. Sit your five dollar ass down before I make ten. And sit your ass down. Yes! This week, sit your ass down. Now, I want to say something up front. Yeah. I would like to apologize. Okay. All of our listeners. Okay. We got a little hype. And we did not respect these people on the sit your ass downs of 2021. And in 2021, we kind of took for granted that these people exist. So I want to say this up front. I apologize. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to ask a question after my apology. Is Florida in the house? Is Florida in the house? Talking about the state or a person? I'm talking about the state. Because just when you thought we got a little too comfortable, we kind of forgot about them, right? No, I didn't. You didn't either. This is a all Florida sit your ass down. Three different stories from one state that said, yo, See, you forgot about us? In, in what context? Oh, let's just go to the first, uh, sit your boy, ass down. Boy, I think he's about to say what I think he's about to say. Nicholas DeBetes. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. DeBetes, DeBetes. This is a man who got into a high-speed chase, a man who fled from police officers and said he was trying to get home to his mom and claimed he was. You ready for this? This is why you get to sit your ass down. This is the claim. You ready? He was driving too fast to pull over. Let that wrap around your head real quick. (laughs) Nicholas was driving a red hot day Elantra at extremely high rate of speed on Thursday. Near an intersection on North Dixie Avenue in Mayfair Way, and turn and then the cops turned on their lights in an attempt to stop him. Records show that Mr. DeBetes passed several locations where he could have stopped, but instead continued to the trailer park on North Dixie Avenue when he finally parked his car after he was placed in handcuffs. The county sheriff arrived and said the BTS had an outstanding warrant. Added that she, the de- you know, the, the sheriff was trying to pull him over way back when, and was unable to catch up, according to the affidavit. The BTS claimed on that night his mother was calling him to come home, and quote. I was driving too fast to stop. End quote. Police said they ran the BTS license plate in the tournament. The car was stolen. He was driving so fast, the cops said. Police said he um, they had to run the license plate. The tournament was stolen. And since he was going so fast, they just said maybe we should just follow him. Mr. Nicholas the BTS was detained that night. And cited for an unregistered vessel and reckless driving. You want to take that one? No. I was driving too fast to stop. That's good. That, that, I don't know how to say that. Some things just write themselves. Nicholas, well, sit your ass down. Next, sit your ass down. Florida's on. Mr. J. Knight. This Florida man was charged with burglary after the homeowners returned to their house to find him lying on their couch, watching their TV, and wearing their clothes. He took his shit off and started wearing theirs. Mr. Knight. When the homeowners returned around 7 p.m., they found Jay Knight on the couch watching TV. WGFL reported police arrived while Knight was trying to leave. So the police got there. He's still there and then thought he should leave. 
He admitted to kicking in the front door to the home and then took several items. He put them in the bag, placed them by the door, but then he started wind he started watching TV, specifically WandaVision. Oh. Investigator okay. said <laughs> Knight was arrested Good with show. Okay. I like WandaVision just fine, but that's not gonna be the cross I bear. Oh, I can totally make it out of here alive. Or let me get one more episode of Disney Plus. <laughs> hey, Disney Plus ain't cheap. I don't blame you. Knight was arrested and charged for burglary, petty theft, and criminal mischief, according to jail records. Do we even have to? Like no. these are sit so your, sit your ass the hell down. This is my favorite. Much. If we talk about Florida's, we missed last week. We got to talk about this new gang because now they're classified as a gang in Florida. Okay. Okay, the grannies. You know who the grannies are? No, I don't. I'll tell you who the grannies are. Talk to me now. There's an actual gang, air quotes, the grannies. Florida women disguise themselves as elderly grandmothers in an unsuccessful no. attempt no. to get doses no. of the coronavirus no. vaccine. Tasha, you got this one. Okay. Why I got to have this because one? Because, I, I, no, that's... You can't, that you actually can't, happened. Unattended with this one. Dr. Raul Pino, the director... What's his name? Raul Pino. That's what it says. Pino. Director of the Florida Department of Health in Orange County told reporters that the women were caught dressing up as quote unquote grannies. They would put on gloves and bonnets. Hey. Um glasses, nightgowns, the whole thing at the vaccine sites last Wednesday. Mm. He said they're not sure how they managed to get the first dose. So it worked the first time. Nobody said anything. The community's high demand for the vaccine. The Orange County's uh, sheriff office that uh, women are somewhere in between the ages of 34 and 44. Mm. Florida's currently prioritizing ah, if I could talk, prioritizing vaccines for adults mm -hmm. 65 and older. Healthcare personnel and long-term care facility residents and staff and other people who meet this mandate. Mm -hmm. The dates on the dates of birth on the driver's license didn't match. So um, they took their regular license yeah. in there. Post but his granny. Now here's how they got away with it. Their names did. So they're named after someone else. They could be a junior. They could be a third mm. of someone who made the list, but. That's how they ended up catching them. Help, uh, the health department personnel asked the deputies to issue trespass warnings and low and no law enforcement action was taken, end quote. Grannies, the new gang, Grannies. got that vaccine. They go, they go dress up, they go put on their nightgowns, their gloves, glasses, and other paraphernalia. Grannies. I gotta be honest. I I don't even know how y'all did this. Let's sit y'all ass down. 